temperature results from a 2D axisymmetric model to a 3D model. Here you can see the 2D axisymmetric model and here's the 3D model that we'd like to map it to. You can see the axisymmetric model was primarily in the XZ plane and the 3D one is more in the YZ plane. So we'll make sure that we're in the simulation file for the 3D model and open the 2D results. This is important because we're going to create a field which we want to reside in the 3D model. And we'll select the temperature results that we'd like to uh, create the field for. Here we'd like the independent domain to be the axisymmetric plane. And if we wanted to, we could spatially map it to a different coordinate system. But we'll keep it as global. All right, and the field is written out. So here if we look in the fields collector, you can see our nodal temperature table, the field that was written out. So now we'll create our temperature load in our static solution. Here we'll select link because we'd like to select the field that we just wrote out. And we'll select that field. And we'll select the body that we'd like to apply the temperature load to. All right, now we can verify that those temperatures were mapped correctly by plotting the contours. And here we'll change spheres to smooth. And then we'll go ahead and inspect some values. Now all the values along this edge should be identical. And here we can see that they are. And that concludes the demonstration.